And without further ado, I'd like to invite Mr. Stuart Donald and Mr. Kevin Ball, our guests to run us tonight. From the, the Wise Men Safe podcast. If you haven't listened, it'll be great if you could give it a go. You could find us on, on Twitter or just Google Wise Men Safe and it would come up. And we're, we're honoured to be asked along to interview Stuart and, and Kevin today. Not so much Kevin, maybe. Um, <laughs> dive straight in, Stuart. Um, when you came to the club, lots of due diligence before you even bought the club, then you had a big task on your hand to get out some of the high earners, bring players in. A bit of a whirlwind, really. It's November in a couple of days. Where are we in comparison to where you thought and hoped we would be at this point? Um, evening, everybody. Um, on the field, player budget-wise, I think we're a little bit over where we wanted to be. We probably got a slightly higher wage bill than we anticipated with a couple of people not going we thought would go. Um, off the field, were a little way ahead financially, um, which has helped compensate for that. We're, we're, we're a long way ahead. Uh, the, first, the first job was to make sure that the football club was safe, uh, stable, sustainable. And um, the good news is that I think six months in, we are now confident that we have a model whereby you know, the, the, the football club is safe. When you've got in there, you say, you mentioned the teams in the Premier League, mm -hmm. everyone talked about how Bournemouth sustained it, how Watford sustained it, how Burnley sustained it. You've got in, you know, have you identified sort of the key markers as to why we haven't succeeded at the level where we've been after 10 years and then obviously we've dropped the two divisions? But, you know, have you sort of identified the problems and gone, right, we, we can't do this again, we can't do that again? Obviously, there'll be surface level stuff but it must be a deeper problem. On the field, you know, from a footballing perspective, it's recruitment, oh, Kevin will tell you that. Um, you know, you've got to have good players and good characters. You've got to have people that want to come for the right reasons. And, you know, I've not tried to sign a Premier League player for Sunderland um, in the Premier League, so, you know, it's difficult for me to comment on, or unfair of me to comment on why the club signed the players that they did. But I think it's pretty obvious that some of those players came for financial reasons. Um, they didn't come with the right attitude. Um, and 11 people pulling together with a slightly less natural ability may be better than um, you know, 11 players that fundamentally probably are only here for their payday. So I'm going to talk about that kind of attitude or and, and, and personality balling. Everybody knows what some of them meant and what some of them means to you. I would imagine people will be interested in the uh, and Dong and Jilly Bodgy situations. We'll, uh, we'll ask Stuart that. How would those guys have went down in, in your dressing room? Um, how would it have gone down in our, our day? I'm not sure. I mean, it's a difficult one because times have changed a lot as well. Um, would we have allowed them to possibly get away with allegedly some of the things they do within the change room environment on a Saturday, I would like to think no. But I think to be able to do that, it can't just be one person sort of having a pop back at them. It needs to be a collective thing then so that the we are stronger, if you understand mine. It's our way of doing things. And what the chairman has just said about, we look at the players we've had over the last few years and the, the biggest thing for me is, are they coming here for the right reasons? And I'm not going to sit here and speak ill of them all because some will have done come here for the right reasons and give their all. But there's plenty have come and have just seen it as an opportunity to come make money, not actually connect with a place, not actually get a feel for the place. And what I said there earlier on, maybe he's not care about it as much as what some players could and should have done. And when it comes to some of the players and the way they conducted themselves, I'd like to think in our time there would have been more than one player would have not tolerated it. And I think as captain of the club, everyone says, oh, you're the captain. I, I had four or five lads alongside me that it meant as much to them as it did to me. So if there were any issues, it wasn't just me. And I think that's important as well, that the changing room, it needs to be strong, but it needs to be strong in the right way. You must be happy with the young lads coming through, Barley, from the academy, getting get the chance. It's not great circumstances how it's happened. But the the chance, aren't they? I think the biggest thing is when a, an opportunity put, presents itself in front of you is you grab it with both hands. And I think the lads are, have done that. You know, you look at Denver, even Denver Hume, one of the young lads who unfortunately is injured at the moment. I think there's a real 
potential player in him as well. Um, when he was younger, he was he was injured a lot, so he's probably behind in his progression as you'd like. But the one thing he has got is a bit between his teeth, so there's another young player coming through as well. You look at Madjo, how well he's done with his goals. You look at Lyndon, look at George for two other examples and that. But the thing for me with Lyndon and George, they probably epitomise for me a lot about our club and how and those two generally do love being at the football club as well. And I know their contracts are up and I've no doubt they, like most players, will want to get as much as they can. But the difference to them is you know that if they do sign that contract, within reason, they're happy with the contracts. They're never going to get everything they want, are they? The thing is, once you, they put that pen on to paper, you know they will always, always give 100%. And when I talk about having a strong changing room, it can be senior players and it can be young players as well. Young players can set the precedent in training with their enthusiasm. One of the things I used to say to the manager that came to the club when I'd done the 23s, there was always a nucleus of players within the 23s that might, some of them might not be ready for first team per se, but they would enhance the training. And this is one of the little things George and Lyndon do. Their enthusiasm for the game, but their love for the club is there. Um, B, I know there's, there's some people have a question about George being named as captain. I thought it was an absolutely brilliant decision. Um, and I will stick by that and it'd be interesting to hear what your thoughts are afterwards. I love seeing Lyndon sort of come now and show really what he can do. And it's great to see it, but you know that them two players especially will try and drive this club on throughout this season by getting the experience this year under their belts. Pray we go up this year and they get into the championship. I think they'll get even better and they'll become, not stalwarts, it sounds an awful word, but real committed players for, for a long period of time.